Hi, I'm Gerard. Hi, and I'm Jeannie. And welcome back to the Triumph of Marriage e-learning course. This is the second week. Last week, we looked at the first and most important foundation stone. Yeah. And if you remember, we saw that marriage is not about us, first and foremost. It's about Jesus Christ and about him being exalted, about him being glorified yeah. in our relationship in our marriage we saw that actually our marriage is meant to show a watching world what God's love really looks like mm -hmm. and this week we're going to look at the second essential foundation stone for a marriage to triumph now in the bible it talks about four different types of love there's eros which is sexual love uh, the storge which is like family love and then there's philia which is like a friendship type love but the love we're going to focus on this week is the love called agape. This is the love that comes from God directly. The first three are human type of love, and human love can go so far, but then there's a limit to where it can go. The agape love we're talking about is a love that's unconditional. It's a love that's unending. It's a love that goes on and on and on, even when it's not being loved in return. And the wonderful thing is, is that God first pours that love into our hearts when we come to faith in Jesus Christ. It says in Romans 5 and verse 5, it says God's love, that's the agape love, is poured into our hearts by the Holy Spirit. What does that love do? Well, I remember so well, Jeannie, you, were, you, you remember that time in 1980 when I had an encounter with God. Yeah. And before that, I was living all for me. And God poured his love into my heart. It was like liquid love. And I fell head over heels in love with Jesus Christ. And from there on, all I wanted to do was to live to please him and bring him glory. Did. And I, re I remember that was so, so clear and it, to remain strong in my heart ever since. Yeah. That just want to please God and live for him. And one of the important things to understand in our marriage is that as much as I love Jeannie, I know that I can never totally fulfill Jeannie and be all that she hoped I would be as a husband. And the same for, for her, for me. We just can't. We can't meet up to that inner need that we all have. There's only one person that can do that, and that's Jesus Christ. And so the inner part of a Christian marriage has got to be our love for Jesus Christ. Um, it's important to understand that he's the one, and he's the one that we're living for, first and foremost. Just listening to you there, I feel so blessed to have a husband, a man of God, that, that loves Jesus so much that... Um, in the dark days of our marriage, that you would continue to love me, um, that agape love that you were talking of mm. um, from your encounter mm. is incredible to me. Mm. Um, and I am so, so grateful to God for a, a, a man, a husband that loves God. Um, because I wasn't loving Gerard, and it was a very terrible time. Mm. And I just remember that Gerard continued to love me um, when I didn't love him back. And I even, it's just hard to say now, but I hated him. Mm. But we're through that now, darling. So, so, <laughs> it's so sad to I talk know. about I, it. Yeah. But God's, God's caused our marriage to triumph in, in this. And, and it was that love, that agape love at the centre of our marriage, which was the foundation stone that we could stand on. Jesus loved the church by laying his life down. It was incredibly painful, wasn't it, when he went to the cross? And sometimes in marriage it is painful. How do we keep on doing it? When you're hurting and you're in great pain, your natural love will come to an end. But this agape love in our heart will not, never come to an end. It keeps on going. And it's the motivation to please Jesus Christ which is the love that we should have at the centre of our marriage. It's a love that says, even though my, my spouse may not be loving me, even though I'm going through a hard time, it's because I love Jesus, I'm going to keep on loving my spouse. And I'm going to keep on laying my life down. Because apart from what I want, I'm here to bring God glory, and I want to please Him. And Jesus said, if you love me, you'll do the things that I have asked you to do. So it's the greatest way, actually, we can show our love for Jesus Christ is how we love our spouse. That's a very practical and very real thing to do. Mm. Um, I've always, ever since we got married, I've loved Ecclesiastes 4.12, which is a cord of three strands is not easily broken. Um, and as you've heard, that, that is a promise that has proven so true for us. We talked about standing on the promises and 
that's one that is um, so special. Yes, yes it is. So the encouragement really for, for all of us is that our, we cultivate and ensure that our love for Jesus Christ is, is red hot, if you like. Is that's very important because that's the motivation to do whatever's needed. If we have to lay our lives down, I'm willing to do it because I know it's pleasing him. And that's what love is all about. So encourage, encourage us all to, to keep that second foundation stone in our marriage, which is first and foremost, I'm doing this because I love you, Lord Jesus, and I'll do whatever you want me to do. So thanks for joining us again. And uh, I bless say, you. We're doing this because we love Lord Jesus. Yes. <laughs> That's really That's heart it. Yeah. Yeah. Bless you. Bless and you. Uh, look forward to seeing you next week. Bye bye. Bye bye.